Among men, fistula is quite rare. Uh, for example, in Migori County, fistula among men is quite rare. And among women, the challenge is that the numbers are not known. Yes, fistula could be referred to as one of the neglected conditions. One, the right, the, um, most of the time, the people, the right people or the right skills to deal with fistula is not easily accessible. So people, many people don't come out to report that they are having this problem of fistula. So the right numbers, you, you cannot really lay your hand on the right numbers. So as an example, during the camp that we recently ran, uh, when word went out there that people are being screened and they can be assisted for fistula for free, close to 1,000 people were screened. Yes, Around 120 were admitted and assessed and uh, 110 surgeries were conducted. And that was just during a three-week period, meaning the problem is there. And uh, even when we were able to conduct over 100 surgeries, you, you can easily lay your hand on the fact that we had patients from Kisumu County, not only Bigori County. We recorded uh, clients from Kisumu County, Nyamira County, Seya County, and there was one even from Muranga County who came all the way because they knew there is a camp and they would be assisted for free. Yes. Another reason why the statistics are really not there is because a lot of times the help around fistula is often provided by well-wishers. An example is the Fistula Foundation that runs year-long camps from place to place. This time around we were supported by AMREF and MPESA Foundation. And AMREF, uh, Fistula Foundation, MPESA Foundation, Safaricom Foundation, once in a while they run camps. And this particular one was heavily supported by the office of the First Lady for Migori County. And uh, we were able to bring these partners together to conduct these surgeries. So with, fist with the camps, for example, the last camp was done a year ago. And then another one was done this year. So the help is available, but it is often few and far between. So among women, uh, fistula is a common problem. It happens a lot, and many people have it across the board. The only challenge is that not all these people are known. Very many people suffer the problem of fistula silently, and they end up uh, in frustration. They are not able to talk about it because many a times they don't know where to get help. But what causes fistula among these women? Broadly classified, I would say it, it is either caused by something that happens during childbirth or any other time in a woman's life. Others are often related to non-obstetric function. This could come happen as a result of an accident. Maybe someone is involved in a 